boys and girls, you know one of my favorite art authors is um, the author who wrote Arthur stories, Mark Brown. And sometimes he writes long stories, sometimes he writes short stories, and sometimes he's an illustrator. He illustrated this story, Wild About You, uh, but the author is Judy Sierra, and um, it's from the best-selling creators of Wild About Books, which which was a story I had read a while ago, and this is like the companion. So we've got lots of anim animals in our story, lots of rhymes, and a absolutely wonderful message um, that's very much relatable because um, it does take a village or a zoo um, to work together. And thank you for working together, watching me um, while I'm at my house and you're at your house and we're learning um, from home for right now. Stay well, and without further ado, Let's check out the story, and then maybe two. Hey, what's new at the zoo? Brand new babies, that's who. Some popped from their mamas, some hatched out of eggs. Some walked right away on their long, wobbly legs. Some babies are fluffy, some babies are hairless. Some babies are shy, oops, and some are quite careless. They wander away and they get lost in the zoo, and their mamas and papas can't find them. Could you? I love looking at this um, a little bit longer, and I know it's really hard to do that when you're online, um, but we have the giraffes, the mamas, and the daddies here, and the little babies kind of hiding back over here, and then we've got our hippo friends. Mama and daddy are here, but the baby's kind of hiding in here. So if you get a chance to look at this book, it's a little bit interactive, which I love, um, but this just isn't fair, said the tree kangaroo. All my neighbors have babies, and I want one too. So do we, Mom, the pandas. We're black, white, and blue. They're not really blue. Pandas are black and white, but blue means to be sad. Black. Babies are awful, the crocodiles told them. They bite and they scratch and they howl when you hold them. They won't do a thing that you want them to do. And on top of all that, they make mountains of poo. Hey, may we have your babies, the pandas asked sweetly. No, no, cried their parents. We love them completely. Er, grumbled the pandas. It's so hard to wait. Then a big orange van rumbled through the zoo gate, and on the sign of the van made their eyes open wide. Do you think there's a cub or a joey inside? It says endangered species rescue. What do you think might be inside? They rushed to the van and they peeked in the door. On the floor lay a little brown box, nothing more. This egg is endangered, the zoo vet explained. Who would like to adopt it? Adopt it. I can't, croaked the crane. It's too small, hissed the ostrich. It's too big, squawked the auk. I haven't got space in my nest, screeched the hawk. Hmm. Who do you think might take the egg? The tree kangaroo scrambled forward to snatch it. She said, I have room in my pouch. I will hatch it. No matter what kind of bird it might be, it can live in my tree and sing sweetly to me. She kept the egg cozy for week after week till she heard the cat tap of her new baby's beak. I've hatched out a penguin, she said. Oh, my word, I wasn't expecting this sort of bird. Penguins don't fly. Penguins never sing sweetly, but that doesn't matter. I love you completely. Yes, you are the answer to all of my wishes, though I may need some help because penguins eat fishes. So the puffins delivered fresh fish every day. The flamingos invited her over to play. And one happy day, she hopped her first hop, a super sensational kangaroo bop. And then she shouted, hey, mom, I want back on my pouchy. Now the pandas, of course, were still gloomy and grouchy. They rolled on the ground, groaning, blah, and boo-hoo. Then beneath the bamboo, they heard someone say, mew. And a kitten jumped out onto Miss Panda's wide lap, picked a comfortable spot, and curled up for a nap. What a curious cub, Mr. Panda declared. You're kind of a sort of a cat of a bear. You're roly or poly or quite pan delicious. Yes, you are the answer to our wildest wishes. The 
tiger stopped by with fresh milk every day, and the meerkats invited him over to play. They snoozed in the shade of the kangaroo's tree, and they all were as happy as happy could be. If you're looking for babies much newer than new, here's a cool panda cat, here's a sweet kangaroo. Every kid needs a family, we know that it's true. And to bring up a baby, it takes a whole zoo. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I loved reading it too. Stay well, friends. Till next time.